Hi, I'm Tea Time. I'm going to be talking a bit about my top five players from ESCA Premier's previous season. Starting off, I'm going to come with a bit of a support slash X Factor player who I think would be really good if you can translate him through into a higher level with a good IGL and coach. It's going to be Kios. He's been fantastic ever since he was on K23 and I've kept an eye out on him. I feel like he's very good in man down situations and or when you're on the T side when your utility is sort of running out and you need someone to make a play. Kios is my go-to guy for that. So if you can put him on a team that maybe needs a little bit of that X factor can be a bit too passive then hey man I, I i'd love to see how exactly he can perform i think he should be in somewhere about the rank 20 to 25 teams in the world at least something around that second upcoming in for me is going to be rollin and rollin is a player from ago he's 27 years old and i know that that already scares people off thinking oh my god isn't he supposed to be talking about young talents i'm talking about up and coming talents i think rollin's actually got some space for him in an upper tier team even maybe even as high up as mouse sports for being a jacks esque player he's a bit like bemis in the sense that you can see him having fantastic aim but because of that age and experience of playing with a lot of different players he's able to adjust himself and temper his aggression a little bit more at times as well i think he's actually a fantastic player to be put into a role playing position because of that age and maturity but you also combine the fact he's got fantastic spray and a pretty decent first bullet accuracy as well i think he'd take on that Jack's kind of role in G2 pretty well in an international team too. Only if he can speak English. I'm not quite sure about that, but I, I'm, I'm guessing he can probably being around Counter-Strike for so long. Then comes in someone who will be on a lot of people's list. Sanpei Yas from Movistar is just insane. Mechanically, his movement's fantastic. That's always a must for any opera. And then when you add in the fact that his flicks are good, he lands those 80% shots most of the time as well. Yeah, I'm sold on this guy. He does still need to prove a little bit more on you know places like LAN against slightly higher tier opposition. But the fact that he's playing with a newer in-game leader and he can still pop off like this is very, very impressive to me. And, I, me, and I'm excited to see where he goes from here. Then comes out Rawls on Sprout. Now, Rawls is a guy who have a, I had a slightly tougher time adding into this list. Rawls, in particular, has some role overlap with Falvin. I don't think he's there yet, but I do think you should keep an eye out for him because that inconsistency that can sometimes present itself against better teams is going to take itself away. And he's had a great coaching base from the Ling B Vikings. I think in a season of Premier, or maybe even two seasons of Premier, he's definitely going to be a talent to keep an eye out for. Finally, I'm going to be talking about Black Terf on Anonymous, who's also an incredibly new and also probably needs a season or two of Premier to be able to get his way undergoing. He's still very high variance, but so far what I've seen is he does really well in early aggressive roles on maps like Vertigo, uh, where you can really get into bed with the enemy team very quickly, much more quickly than they may be prepared for. And Black Tech can catch you off of guard with some great mechanics. And I'm looking forward to seeing how exactly he will develop playing under Anonymo, playing with people like Snacks and whatnot. That's it for my top five for the ESEA Premier Season 38 players. Make sure you guys check out all the other analysts as well. And make sure you guys tune into Premier next season as well.